hello everybody today I'm just bringing you a quick video showing you my vintage sewing techniques piece and this is the February piece which is cross stitch this is a project Susanna from Vintage Blend Studio is doing and I'm just tagging along at my own pace and I'm using my own fabrics I'm doing it all in the blue and you know old white kind of colors um, so this is my second page and this is cross stitch. I have this little piece of Ada cloth, which I I found in a kit. It is a little bit marked, but I'm okay with that. And it that that's how big it was basically. Um, and so of course my hearts have turned out very tiny because the cloth is actually very tiny. Um, but that's that's the way you do it. Had I, I in <laughs> In hindsight, maybe I should have done them double the size they were, but I didn't. So what I've done is done cross stitch all the way down and across as well. And this is counted cross stitch. I did many, many, many years ago try my hand at counted cross stitch. I was not a fan because it means you've got to count and you've got to sit there you can't be disturbed otherwise you lose your mark basically um, and when you have young children that's very very difficult so uh, I didn't do an awful lot of it I put a mother of pearl button in the center with um, and I cross stitched the center of that I did some straight stitching or a running stitch and some cross stitch around the center part on the outer part here which now that I look at the camera I can see the the flowers through it but when I was stitching it just looking at it normally that didn't seem to appear but when I look through the camera I can but it, it has to stay like that I'm not doing it again um, on the outside part I did these off center crosses I'm not quite sure what Susanna called those but I ended up couching just the center of them down as well just so they because they were quite large so they kept their shape did a running stitch all the way around I did a cross stitch a few cross stitches here but on the straight rather than on the angle and then I did my cross stitch which um, <laughs> I did that I think in stem stitch as well I've still got to get the iron to a couple of little bits I just freehand um, I freehand I had to I freehand wrote the words cross stitch because I'd already invisible stitched and I only had that and I realized that I hadn't put my cross stitch on so I kind of had to fold it up write it on a piece of paper like that and put it underneath and put it against my glass door so I could um, sketch it on as best I could so <laughs> try and do it beforehand um, so I've done all that and then just on the outer piece on this lovely floral fabric I really do like that floral fabric I have, uh, is it borrow stitched or, or running stitch, whatever you want to call it, all down the sides and then on the bottom and the top, because I was running out of the thread, I only did it in the white sections and left the flowers without any. And I only just had enough thread. I think I've got like that much on my knee. No, no, I was so short. Look, um, where is it? The last little piece I think this is it here I had to just loop it around the back and put a little tiny bit of glue to hold it that's how much I had I just just to get that one last stitch in there I couldn't even tie a knot in the back of it or anything like that so that is my February cross stitch piece the next piece we're going to be doing is the English paper piecing so I'm going to have to, I think I need three different, three different um, patterns of fabric and then a background piece as well. So that should be fun today. I have done paper piecing. I did that with 
um, I said Ambrook did some of that and so I've got that one and I've got that one so far to go in my book and all in the blues and creams that looks quite dark compared to that but that's okay that is my title page like that and then that will go but that will actually end up being on the back of that and then the next one will be there so there we go I hope you've enjoyed seeing that and if you would like to follow along with Susanna I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below and um, I'm sure she'd love to have you follow along you don't or Susanna's using kits because she that's how she was going to do it um, but you can quite easily use your own things like I'm doing because I don't think she has any more left available anyway uh, where's my there it is okay I've got to keep these together nice and straight and that's the book I'm using when I'm finished so thank you so much for stopping by and watching and um, I hope you all have a wonderful day bye